Jockey Tevin Foster moved within four of joining the 100 club at Kemanas Park after booting home four winners on the nine race card. We have more in this report from Angela Melville. Greg Fennell's high diplomacy provided Foster with his 93rd mm -hmm. win of the season in the day's first race. They come thundering into the top of the lane, a quarter of a mile to run, high diplomacy on the rail with that lead, great trick in the green, in between horses, Lord of Agilon, the grey race is up next, Simba the Lion, now that one's run looks to have petered out, and Shaboom is the one racing widest of them all, but high diplomacy is travelling quickly, high diplomacy out in front and opening up that lead, it's high diplomacy and terrific Tevin Foster, they're bouncing away in the first event and will win it easily in the end by double digits, great trick is second. Shaboom is third. Simba the Lion made just before. Another His second on, came in race four astride another, another wave, wave, wave for trainer Adrian Prince over the 1,000 meters straight wave. course. Begins to pull away from Brampton Alex. It's the second winner on the card for terrific Tevin Foster. Foster was at his brilliant best as he completed his three-timer with absolute blue in race six. But it is Absolute blue in front, absolute blue still in front, noble impulse trying to fight back, but absolute blue will give Tevin Foster his third win on the card. Absolute blue beats noble impulse, then comes a just an illusion, a dancing in the breeze, got tight for fifth, maybe it's my Smokey. Foster's rival Radish Roman Justin booted Biden's home two winners, including beginning. Desert of Malibu Desert of in the $1.7 million non-such sprint trophy for native-bred three-year-olds and up. Mate, Madeline Sunshine, these two hook up together. In behind them, a Wall Street trader is racing in fourth, some five off that lead. Fearless Soul is racing up next. Inspire Force is second to last at the moment as they leave the half-mile marker and last of all, they outclass Justin Biden. The field stringing out in a line as they make their way now toward the final three and out in front is a desert of Malibu. Is that a fact now asked to slice into that lead? It's only a length and a half. Wall Street trader close enough if good enough. A break of five back to Fearless Soul as the leaders will come into the top of the lane. It is a desert of Malibu. Roman having a look over his shoulder and ask the filly to go now inside the final Final 3 16th, it's Desert of Malibu turning on the power, and Desert of Malibu begins to shake loose from the field. Inside the last furlong, this is the nonsense sprint trophy. It's Desert of Malibu and Radish Roman romping the event. They've opened up eight, maybe more, could be ten. Desert of Malibu easily in the end wins the nonsense sprint trophy from Wall Street Trader. Is that a fact? Close between Inspire Force and Fearless Soul running on late. Foster was at it again in race eight aboard Patrick Taylor's. Awesome Anthony. Here comes Noble Attitude and here comes Awesome Anthony finishing with a flurry. Awesome Anthony. It's Benson in front. Awesome Anthony now gets the upper hand on the rail and it's Awesome Anthony. Begins to pull away from Benson. Awesome Anthony. And a Tebbing Foster, that's four on the day. Foster now has 96 winners, seven clear of Radish Roman. Racing continues on Sunday with a nine race card and the Trevor McKenzie Trophy will be the day's big event. Mackenzie won the Jockeys Championship in 1965, aged 17, with a record 60 winners. The following year, 1966, Mackenzie created history, becoming the first jockey to be nominated as Sportsman of the Year. He won his third title in 1968 and was inducted into the local racing hall of fame in 2006. He is, of course, the son of another former champion rider, Reggie McKenzie, who won five riding titles at Knutsford Park between 1937 and 1945. Angela Melville, CVM Sports.